God, I need you. Keep going in the same circle again, but then my soul will die. Would you count? Hey guys, Ooh. this is your girl Latrice, and I am here with an amazing video, guys. All right. So today we are blinging out license plate frames. I was going to say tags, frames. So this is what we're doing today. All right. We're blinging out license plate frames. All right. So I said I wanted a bling dot license plate, right? And I looked and looked and none of them was bling dot enough for me. So I said, let me see if I can do a DIY and bling out my own license plate. Okay. And so that's what I did. So let's get started. The things we're going to need is license plate. Uh, frames, of course, right? So I got these off of Amazon. It was two for uh, $10, about two packs. So I have four. And um, I'm always giving one to my daughter. So she don't have a set, now I have a set. I painted them. They were black. I spray painted them silver. Any silver paint you want, any silver paint you want is fine. The reason I painted silver is because you might just see some of it uh, through the little cracks. You may you may just see some of it through the cracks. So I decided to go ahead. And then, yeah, you can see the, the end of it. Yeah. So I painted it silver. Okay. I got the flat back rhinestones from Michaels. And they come in a pack like this. And this is ten dollars if you have a coupon you can get it for 40 percent off okay so i got these this is normal flat back rhinestones and this is how much i used out of it already for just that one so you use quite a bit and you use quite a bit of glue i use e6000 works amazingly okay and I have my glue, my uh, rhinestone picker upper. Uh, it's time for a new one, I think. But anyway, they come on. Um, it's just wax. I got this at Amazon. I think it was like $5 for two. And I've been having this for a couple of years now. Someone told me that they can use the uh, Elf from the Dollar Tree Elf Wax. Uh I, I bought one to try it, and I just haven't tried it because once, when this, when you start doing what you're doing, it's like let's just get it, do it, and just get through with it. And I don't usually have time to um, experiment with other things, but we might experiment with it today and see. All right, so I always put my uh, see the holes and stuff. This glue is strong and it eats through things, okay? This is my little table that I use and it is, yeah, just worn out from all the glue and the DIYs and stuff that I do. You paint these, let them dry. I let mine dry overnight. You don't really have to dry that long because it, it dries really, really quickly. I try to angle you guys really good so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You can start on any corner that you want. All right. So I usually just start on any side. I pull the, the little rhinestones out on the table because you're going to be using, you know, and you're going to just be doing it. It moves really quickly. You get your little thingy ready. And the glue dust is just it oozes out. I think it needs to be a better system than that, but that's the system that they have. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna put the glue put a little glue 
not all the way down, just a little bit. So you can get get a little get a little groove going there. Anyone can do this, guys. I'm gonna tell you guys, I have arthritis in my hands. And I can do it. So anybody can do it. You just pick them up and you place them on there. Sometimes you have to set them down. and let it like set for a few seconds. If you don't like where it is, you still have time to move it around because it's not it's not like hot glue. It's not gonna like glue instantly. Um, I like a lot of rhinestones. So as soon as it's set, I, I'm sure I'll go back and put some more like on top, I'm gonna bring it up closer to you guys so you can see. Just pick them up and put them on there. Just pick it up and put it on. So, so you can move them around. Still have time to move them around. And this little thing here, this little thing here is amazing. I'm gonna bring it close to you in just a second. Okay. Once it's set a little bit, maybe uh, 10 minutes as you're going down the line, uh, I'm gonna put some more on top of here. If you do it now, it'll probably move the ones that you already have. So we're gonna put some more glue. The E6000 usually costs like $4 probably. But, you know, um, a little bit goes a long way. Okay. I think they turn out really, really nice. And... You're gonna find them in the stores, and it's like it's not enough rhinestones for me. I wanted more. If it don't shine, it ain't mine, guys. Yes, that's my logo. No, that ain't what you call it. You don't call it logo. Whatever you call it. And make sure you save room for the screw to go in because you never got to screw the license plate, the license, the little thingy back. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to just add some more on top of those because I want more rhinestones on there. So it didn't set a little bit, so I can just put a little glue on here. And you gotta kinda of remember where you put the glue because uh, everything's the same color. <laughs> Everything is the same color. So that's what I'm doing, trying to make sure I'm putting it wherever I put the glue.
So I just add a little bit more. It's a little tedious. But it gets done. And once you look at it, if you see you want more rhinestones on here, you put more on there. All right. I'm going to show you again how to do a little piece of it. It's not hard to do it all, guys. You get your license plate, you can get it at Walmart, all these things at Amazon, because they're as cheap as I can find. They say Dollar Tree have them. I have not seen them there yet. But as soon as I do, I will grab up some. I was just there yesterday. I didn't see any. But they say that they do. As soon as I find them, I will be getting them. Thing is not picking them up right. Sometimes you get a little glue on the on the stem, on the your little wax picker upper thingy. Just squeeze it off. And on the end here is where I went back and added more. You can you can just keep adding them more and more and more until you're satisfied with it. Okay. So one will go on the back of the car, one will go on the front. This is how it's gonna look. And the E6000 is not going in anywhere once it dries. It'll dry for a couple of days before you put it on your car. Look at that. Look how cute that is. Yeah, this how it would go like this on the car. I love it, guys. Easy to do. Anybody can do it. This is going to look like this. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Share the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know. You can get different color rhinestones. They have pink. They have black, purple. They have all any color you want. If you don't want to do the uh, clear ones, I just did the clear ones because I thought it would be better. My car is black, so I could have done pink though, huh? But uh, yeah, any color you want. Also, guys, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Share the video out. And um, subscribe to the channel, guys, so you can see more, more, more DIYs. All right, guys? I love, love, love you. Check it out, guys.